today. Now we will proceed to our module number 6.1 for quarter number 2. It is all about delivering an extemporaneous or impromptu speech employing techniques in public speaking. So we will start on page number 3. This module provides varied activities that will help you learn how to deliver an extemporaneous or impromptu speech. Employing techniques in public speaking, it will also help you target the skills needed for the 21st century anchored on the goals and objectives of the K-12 basic education program. At the end of this module, you are expected to first compare and contrast prepared or extemporaneous and impromptu talk or speech. Second, share encouragement to other people through an impromptu talk. And third one will be deliver a prepared speech about an issue employing techniques in public speaking. So in what I know part, we have here five items for letter A, guess the word. So supply the correct letters to complete the missing word based on the meaning. The first and last letter are given as clues. So we have clues here, the meaning, and also we have hints. The first are the initial letters and then the letters at the end of each mystery word. So you will use these meanings for you to identify the mystery or the hidden word behind this. Then for letter B, match and write. So 6 to 10, you will just choose a letter for from column B based on the words in column A. If you think, what do you, th what do you think is the letter which speaks about the topic, extemporaneous, impromptu, stage fright, voice quality, then you will have your answers from the column B. Then word web, from the word itself, public speaking, what comes into your, into your mind? It can be words or phrases which are related to the word public speaking. Then what's in? So in this time of pandemic, many of us rely on the public dissemination of correct information. Most of our transactions require someone to speak and voice out his or her purpose and intention. With this, speaking is very relevant and useful these days to inform, persuade, and entertain other people. So speaking, sometimes we are having difficulties when we are speaking, if we are talking to someone, especially in front of crowd. But we should know how to conquer our fears for us to influence more, for us to fight for our position, fight for our stand, as long as we are in the right place, as long as we are not stepping down other people. So we should know and later we will have tips on how to conquer our anxiety in public speaking. And we have he, the, we have text here entitled Values Education for Human Solidarity lit, written by Lord, Lourdes R. Kisimbing. She is the president of Asia Pacific Network for International Education and Values Education, former Secretary of Education Philippines. So after reading the text, the text rather, it's quite long, you will answer the guide questions. Based on the speech, what does human solidarity mean? What is the role of education in understanding the different people and their culture? And so on. And for the next activity, read and analyze the speech conversation of Miss Gonzaga, a teacher, and Charlie, a grade 10 student, via messenger video call. Then answer the following questions. Write your answers on the provided space using complete sentence. Here is Miss Gonzaga and the grade 10 student. You will just read their conversation. 
and answer the guide questions. Number one, who are the participants in the video call? Number two, and up to number five. Mm -hmm. So for num for what's new, look and interpret the memes below. What does it say about public speaking? Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So here, the first meme, it is you and about your speech. Then the second meme will be your anxiety is trying to hugging you for you to deliver your speech. So you will just interpret how you feel. Did you encounter it? Then you will just describe the feeling. If you are really relating yourself into these memes. Next activity will be you will read the article or the text which is entitled what is a stage fright so after reading the text you will list down the possible ways to overcome one's anxiety in public speaking when you say anxiety it's your fear it's your it, these are the things that hinder you to speak in public to speak in front of many people so you will list down three possible ways to overcome or to solve your fear to conquer your fear so extemporaneous and impromptu speech so we will differentiate the two when you say extemporaneous it is a speech planned in advance but delivered spontaneously using notes or an outline an extemporaneous speech is one of the most natural methods of delivery for delivering a prepared speech it creates more natural tone flow and style with the audience Examples are graduation speech, class report, acceptance speech, employee presentation in a meeting. Meaning, you are planned, the topic is given ahead of time for you to prepare, for you to plan, and you will use an outline, but it's not fully scripted. You can have your outline for you to remember the parts of your speech. For you to explain well to present well in front of other people but when you say impromptu it is applied to a speech given without advance notice or warning the speaker is given a topic and must immediately begin speaking on it on the spot examples are class recitation beauty pageant q a presidential debate panel discussion so when you say impromptu on the spot you will be given a question, then you will answer it immediately. Or you will be given a topic, then you will expound it. You will give your own stand, position, argument, evidences, reinforcement, statement prior. Or, I mean, you will say all of this upon or after the topic is given to you. There is no any prior preparation because it's on the spot so the main difference between extemporaneous and impromptu extemporaneous you are prepared because it is given to you prior or before the presentation you have time for you to prepare for you to have an outline however when you say impromptu without prior notice you are not prepared but somehow you are knowledgeable about that topic for you to explain on the spot then we have techniques in public speaking one nerv nervousness is normal practice and prepare so we have practice is the repetition of repetition of performance or work so as to become proficient so if you will practice always effective practice consistent practice nervousness will fade <clears throat> it is very common that you will become nervous in the first time in the first attempt but as long as you are getting used to it you will be over you will overcome the fear the anxiety in public speaking so number two know the audience the speech is about them not the speaker so when you say audience it's a group of listeners and spectators who will witness to the speech performance so if you will know the audience well you can include information which are related to them so they can find your speech interesting 
they can find it motivating and really satisfying because you know the audience you relate them to your speech because you they are your focus on your speech so it's very important to know the audience are they youth are they married are they studying are they playing games or you will also consider their interests for you to deepen your for your for you to deepen your speech for you to highlight some of the ideas which they can relate with then number three organize the material in the most effective manner to attain the speaker's purpose it can be related in number two if you know the audience and how you will know you will know the most effective manner to attain the speaker's purpose or to make your speech effective if you really know your audience so if you will use the style which is appropriate to your audience it will be effective as long as you will present it in efficient and effective manner so when you say material you can also use the medium that you can use while you are delivering your speech there can be a presentation there can be showing of pictures it can be especially if you are presenting a particular topic basic speech outline so introduction body conclusion so introduction greeting attention grabbing hook introduction of the topic issue thesis statement credibility statement preview of main points so in the introduction you are already targeting the audience interests so you will hook them for them to listen up until your conclusion so when i say body the glimpse of the topic the thesis statement the introduction of the topic you will support them you will strengthen them by giving evidences enough information credible information about what you have stated in introduction and the conclusion summary of the points discussed the statement of the thesis claim a call to action and thank the audience so the conclusion you will just generalize what you have said and you will also include what they should do what they should not do and what are the benefits and consequences that they will have if they will listen or if they will do something upon reading or after reading upon listening or after listening to you so when you say introduction body conclusion there are three basic speech outline the three parts but they should be related to one another there should be oneness and clarity for your listener to really understood or to really understand the message of your speech so number four watch for feedback and adopt to it so feedback refers to the transmission of reaction, evaluation, and correction to an action or performance. So feedbacks, sometimes there are positive and negative feedbacks, but you have to accept it constructively. And you have also affirmatively, positively, because if you will accept it in positive manner, then you will grow because you will know that you are not perfect you will know and you will discover the mistakes and the lapses that you have and eventually if you are always ready and open to adopt changes to grow more then you will be really be a successful public speaker in the future so always be open with the feedback then five let your personality come through be yourself don't become a talking head in any type of communication you will establish better credibility if your personality shines through and your audience will trust what you have to say if they can see you as a real person so what you are saying you should also you should also oh, okay your mind your action should be connected because if you are saying about something but you are not doing it probably the credibility or the chance that they will believe you will be lesser so it should be driving it should be interconnected so a public speaker it's not only about how he or she speaks but how 
he or she adopts what he or she is saying. So number six, use humor, tell stories, and effective language. Humor is the quality of being funny or entertaining which provoke laughter and provide amusement to the audience. So when you say humor, it is giving happiness and satisfaction to the listener. But by using humor, it should be educational, it should be motivational. We should avoid humor that will lead to misconception or there are there are other messages which are not that educational which are not good or morally commendable so we should always it's important for them to have humor because they can boost their interest their engagement to you However, we should be careful and mindful because still, as a public speaker, we should be inspirational, we should be motivational for the listener. Seven, work from an outline. Read only if needed. So, like what I have said, reading from a script or slide hinders the interpersonal connection. So, when I say outline, these are only the key points that you have to remind yourself. For example, this part, you will just have a single word or a phrase or a single sentence, but you will not include the entire discussion on a paper. So, you should summarize the brief and the essential points of your speech for you not to be lost. But you will read if it's only needed, meaning as long as you memorize it, as long as you are, you really know what you are saying, the organization of your thoughts, your ideas, then you could go on because sometimes reading, it interrupts the emotion, the interest, and the, the engagement of the listener so if you really memorized and you are really aware and mindful of the proper proper organization of your speech then there will be a clear and smooth transition of the speech so use nonverbal communication effectively it can be body language facial expressions tone of voice eye contact posture appearance so when you say body language these are the movements like you are holding your hands but it should be appropriate to what you are saying for example you will say help one another you can use your hands holding hands and facial expression it can be sometimes facial expression really matters facial expression really matters because it is the first thing that the listener will look at so if they will it is also important for speakers to be presentable because if they will see your facial expressions the movement of your eyes your eyebrows your any parts of your face it should be appealing it doesn't mean or it doesn't require that you should be the most beautiful but it should be somehow appealing to them that will show the sincerity on what you are saying for example you are motivating them then there should be a sincerity in on your face that it is not that forced it is not that scripted or it comes naturally so when you say tone of voice you are not monotone sometimes your tone is high so like that there should be a variation then eye contact it they are believing or most of us are believing that someone is saying truth if they can look at you directly while they are delivering or they are speaking some about something so it's very important to have eye contact with our audience posture so posture it also shows how we are confident enough to have our lesson.
there has to be appearance. So when we say appearance, it's like what I'm saying that we should look presentable because it affects the it it is a factor also for the listener if they will really believe to us or not and we sh even though but it doesn't require a very hard makeup as long as we are looking fresh and we are looking comfortable while we are delivering our speech then it can be then grab attention at the beginning and close with the dynamic end so like what i said you should hook your hook your listeners at the beginning and remember that the ending is the most remembered thing because it's the last thing being delivered so it should be remarkable then use audio visual aids and props wisely so we should also expect the difficulties sometimes there are technicalities technical problems and we should know how to deal with it so in independent activity number one you will just simply write on your paper if it's like or hard even just a simple word like or hard like if it is for example then impromptu write the word hard so when you say extempo it is planned impromptu not extempo you are prepared impromptu on the spot then independent assessment number one you will compare between the two you will list down here the extemporaneous the things that extemporaneous have has while impromptu does not have then vice versa then the similarity in the middle in independent activity number two answer the poll by choosing the best to apply for each de description so you will just choose among the two so on your answer sheet you will just write your answer between the two choices in each number so it's one to five then independent assessment number two you will choose one quote given by well-known filipinos and deliver a three-minute extemporaneous speech about it so you will record yourself then you will pass it to me in my messenger account so you will just choose one among them then three minute deliver delivery about your chosen quotation so below is a checklist so i will observe you by this indicators if you have chess yes if you did not consider it then no so we have here the points then in the independent activity number three you will read the article then you will answer these questions and for independent assessment number three you will have the minutes talk is down the challenges that both teachers and students are facing in the new normal education then put them on a jar pick a, a word and be ready to say something about it for two minutes you may do it using facebook live or record and share it to your fb friends so you will write in a small pieces of paper the challenges then you will place it inside the jar then you will pick it then you will say something about it so in every picking up a pieces of paper a piece of paper then you will say something about what you have picked then you will record it and send it to me also then you will be graded if the topic and purpose are clearly communicated and clearly delivered five points non-verbal and verbal cues five points and time limit five points then you will simply complete the statements i have learned that i want to know more so if you have still questions you will include it here then what you have learned from this module write it here then what i can do in this time of pandemic many events are canceled everywhere even the face-to-face -face classes so with this imagine that you're charlie a great student who has been chosen to deliver a speech for reading month 2020 write a prepared speech about the importance of unity in the new normal education follow the tips given previously to deliver your speech successfully 
So you will write your title, introduction, body, conclusion. Then, you will have this rubric, organization. Speech shows strong structure which enhances the effects of speech. So if you clearly use the structure, then you will have four points. Subject and knowledge coverage about what you know about the topic you have presented four points the voice there is, there is a variation of tone four points manner and appearance how you presented it four points in effectiveness if it clearly influenced and affected the listener or the audience then you will have four points so after writing your own text you will deliver and record it and then pass it to me. So you will have three videos that you will pass it to me on Messenger. So those videos will serve as your performance desk. Then assist assessment. In one to five, we will just choose a letter of the correct answer. Then letter B, you will have like if it's correct. Then the sad one if it is incorrect. So you can just write on your answer sheet like if it's true then sad if it is incorrect then choose one from the hashtag below then write five sentence speech discussing the issue top or topic below a hashtag education in new normal b hashtag module serie c hashtag blended learning d hashtag education despite pandemic so you will just Choose, among, choose one among the four choices, then you will have five sentence speech and you will write it here. So you can have your title. So job well done. You have successfully completed this module. For your additional task, improve your speech based on the result of the evaluation. Let your teacher check your final revision. Afterwards, record delivering your speech and upload it to the Facebook app and share it to your teacher and friends. So... We are done with our module 6.1. We have rights to deliver our speech as long as we can deliver it well and we supported it with evidences. We support it with different information that will enrich, influence, affect other people for them to grow more, for them to be enlightened. And if you have other questions, you can have your private message to your teacher. And despite the problem that we are facing, do not forget to learn more, to be open with the changes, to be open with the feedback that we have. Because despite the imperfections that we have, we can still go on. So keep safe and